Hi guys, and welcome to my spoiler video on Bride by Ollie Hazelwood. If you would like to watch the spoiler free video, I recommend going and watching my earlier video that contains no spoilers, but does talk a little bit about the book, um, my thoughts on it, but it contains no spoilers. This one, I will talk about the book but it will contain a little bit of spoilers uh, as to why I liked it. Uh, and so if you don't want to watch this video, I would recommend not continuing. So we'll just give you a few seconds to click away if you don't want spoilers. Doo -doo -doo. So I recommend, I, I rated this book five stars. Um, I love Allie Hazelwood's previous works. Um, I'm a big science nerd, so I loved Love Theoretically, uh, The Love Hypothesis, those. So for her first paranormal romance, I thought it was absolutely fantastic. It had a lot of almost thriller type vibes where, you know, her best friend goes missing. Uh, you know, she was not expecting that. She goes on the hunt for her best friend. Um, who ends up being tied to the alpha of this werewolf pack. And, you know, Misery is somebody who wants nothing to do with the vampires after she was raised as the human vampire collateral for the Vampire Human Treaty. And so she is really just focused on her own life, kind of passing as human, and wanting nothing to do with her father, who is kind of the head not so head of the vampire council um however the opportunity comes up um because a few other women have backed out of um a marriage alliance with the alpha of the werewolf shifters or the were shifters and um when her father is discussing this potential with her she hears his name and that's the clue her best friend left behind. So um, she agrees to this marriage in hopes of finding her best friend who's been missing for a few weeks at this point. The police were no help, said maybe she ran away, she was a foster kid. And so she marries the Alpha in hopes of finding some clues to find her best friend. So even though this video does contain spoilers, I won't say too much. I want you to read the book and find out for yourself what happens. Um, but I thought it was really great. There was a good bit of speculation kind of whether this book was going to be kind of Omegaverse when it first happens uh, or when, before it was released. And I can tell you right now there, I would not classify this book Omegaverse whatsoever um to me the things that make a book omega verse things like having a nest being in heat um oftentimes possibly having multiple partners um you know certain keywords used within that none of those were used um the only one even remotely used was nodding and to me, that is used within so many werewolf type books. I would not consider that Omegaverse. I would consider that werewolf shifter. Um, so me personally, I know I still have a lot to learn. Um, and this is just my opinion, but I would not consider this book Omegaverse at all. Plus the fact that since Misery was raised uh, in the human territory uh, and basically raised by humans, you know, she knows only kind of the basics about vampire culture. She knows very little about her own culture. And even more so, even less is known about werewolf culture. And so her father kind of sends her into this with a link to her twin brother saying, hey, kind of find out some stuff for us, you know, be our inside. And while she's got her own motives looking for her friend, um, you know, she's like, maybe she does speak with her twin brother, but 
she's like, I'm, I'm in this for myself. I'll kind of relay back what I know. Um, Lo, who is our main male character, who is the werewolf shifter, is really kind of hesitant to open up to her about the werewolf community and were shifters. Um, the marriage alliance is only supposed to last one year. And so, you know, she's kind of tucked away in like a separate bedroom. Um, you know, there's not a whole lot of interaction at the beginning that goes on between them. And so it's, that's a second part of why I would not consider this an omega verse because you know as the book kind of progresses you as the reader are almost learning about werewolf and the were shifters just as our main character misery is and you know she barely learns about nodding until you know not even halfway through the book and so it's I would not consider it a megaverse at all. I know that was kind of a big thing for a lot of people. Um, but with what's going on with her best friend, what's going on with the vampire council, what's going on, you know, with the loyalist and within the wear community, there are so many things going on within this, this book. Um, and it really just kind of keeps you on your toes the entire time. I, I don't think there was one second that I was bored. It's definitely got a ton of plot to follow. You know, you're definitely left wondering, hey, who's behind all of this this entire time? And I didn't figure it out. And normally I figure things out within like the first little bit. So I think it was really well written, really well developed. I really liked it. And so, for me, it's a five-star read. Um, my copy came from Lark and Owl bookstores. I was actually really lucky to get a signed copy um, that showed up on release day. So, big shout out to them. I really appreciate this copy. Um, I did pay for it, um, but I do love it. And I think the book itself is so pretty. So, I would totally invest in buying it or renting it from the library, checking it out on Libby or Hoopla through your library if that's something you're looking for. It was a great read and I hope you enjoy.